We're here with Seth Westcott. Seth, you've been riding forever. I mean, dude, things are at a new level now. Snowboarding's not just the mom and pop snowboard shop anymore. Uh, I mean, you got Visa behind you, and you got Morgan Freeman doing shout outs to you. How does that feel, <laughs> man? That's that's a lot to live up to. It, it is, but I mean, it's unbelievable. It's pretty legit, it, man. It, You're on a credit is. card for God's sake. <laughs> that's know, awesome. It's, it's unreal, that's and right. it's you know, aside from just the games, though. I mean, one of the coolest things for me. Um, was trying to get you know tour events going um, post Torino, and I I mean for me that's the game plan to do it. Try to do it again next year um, to get an event that kind of you know has more of an organic deal and um, and incorporates freestyle into border cross. Um, Are you wanted to start your own event like a Seth Westcott event? Yeah, we I did one in uh, 2007 called Champions Cross, um, and I did it at home at Sugarloaf, and and Visa was on board to help support that and. Uh, Actually, Palmer and Holland and I have been talking about trying to create an invitational series um, where, you know, you'd have mandatory freestyle in the course where you'd have to spin or flip over jumps um, and do something that we feel will help make snowboard cross more relevant in the, the industry. Sport. Exactly. And, uh, and I'm stoked to have someone like Visa supporting me to help, you know, chase after that type of dream. How do you stay in contact with your fans? I mean, I heard you talking about Facebooking or Twittering. Yeah. I mean, are you on MySpace, Twitter, Facebook? Um, Facebook is the way that I do it. Um, I just started relaunching my own website um, at SethWestcott.com. But, you know, for me, Facebook is really the way to do it right now. I'm not so up to the minute that I'm Twittering, but, uh, you know, just going on daily and just kind of, you know, especially through the games, letting people know what's up. And uh, and it's been unbelievable. I had, you know, over 2,000 uh, Facebook hits. I got to have an hour or two to go home and, uh, and, you know, throw some stuff, throw some stuff up. You know, it's insane to see that type of a medium um, and how quickly that, that feedback comes and it's it's awesome. No doubt. Now I heard you talking about uh, you want to go to Alaska and kind of just let things breathe. I mean, yeah. you said you're planning on going to the next one in four years. Oh, yeah. You just, uh, you're going to go let the mine relax for a year? You're going to keep competing on the world circuit? Obviously, you got to qualify. Yeah, to go yeah. Back. Um, my game plan for the next two years is to just kind of hit, you know, next year will probably be world championships, X Games, um, and then USSA is actually talking about moving to a two Grand Prix stop um, nice. that would just be half pipe and border cross at both stops. Um, so those will probably be the four events. Plus, actually, we have uh, European X Games coming on next year, too. So two X Games events, the World Championships, and those two. Um, and then other than that, Xavier Delarue's um, getting me into the Free Ride World Tour for next year. Nice. So for the next two years, I'm going to kind of focus on that, take a little bit of a breather on the World Cup um, so that I can kind of you know, make some mental space to fire it back up two years out from Sochi and, and get ready to come back to try to do this again. Dude, that's awesome. Now, you've had a huge career. You said 20 years now. That's amazing. I've been at it for 15. I can't even yeah. imagine five years from now thinking <laughs> about, like, where you're at. But what is the defining moment of your career? I mean, maybe not defining, but moment in your head that just stands out, you know? Um, I mean, outside of the Olympics, um, Probably the coolest one ever for me um, was the two years of the Baker Bank slalom where I went 1-2, one, 1-2 two, one, two with, uh, with Terry Hawkinson. I mean, for me... The guy's a legend. The guy's a legend. He was my hero growing up. And, uh, you know, t basically over the three days, those two years at, at Baker, we kept trading off. He'd post a time, I'd beat him by a little bit. He'd come back and get me, I'd take him by a little more. And it was... Uh, that was one of the coolest experiences for me to get to go out there, you know, with the person who is ultimately your hero in the sport of snowboarding, um, and be able to trade off runs like that was just unbelievable. Well, I got news for you, buddy. You just won two Olympic gold medals <laughs> know, now, back to back. People are going to be saying that about you. I mean, when you yeah. go to sleep at night and you wake up the next day, I mean, how does that set? Knowing that you know some little Joey somewhere is going, Seth Westcott's my hero. Yeah. You know, I mean, how does that feel? It's pretty wild, you know. I mean, I I went through experiencing a lot of that with young kids. Um, after Torino, but I mean, this just takes it to a whole other level, and um, I'm sure the next couple months will be a lot of those experiences of meeting those kids. No doubt. Well, Seth, yeah. I wish you nothing but luck. Right on. Appreciate the interview, buddy. Thanks.